For riders on the Tour de France, each day is hectic, tough and very repetitive. Take Team Colombia's Bernard Eisel. From the moment he finishes breakfast, it's all about conserving energy and preparing for the task ahead. Once he gets to the race start, it's time for a quick meeting. Then one last check of the bike before heading off to the all-important sign-in. Finally then, the clock hits start time and the day's stage is off. After the small matter of a couple of hundred k's through the French countryside, there's still no time to rest. Battling through the fans and media, it's back to the team bus, interview time and then off to the hotel, where finally Bernard can hit the massage table and reflect on another day in the saddle. That was a rough day. Just start from kilometre zero and just going uphill was quite hard and yeah, it's nothing for me. And even Mark Carandage and Mark Granger had quite a lot of problems going up there, so we, we stayed together. We, we found a small group of eight riders or something. And yeah, we were riding tempo. I mean, we had enough, enough time for the, for the maximum time today, so that was fine. It was just a long day out there with eight riders from kilometer 15 to the finish. While to the rest of us mere mortals, it sounds like hell, to the riders, it's more than just a job. You don't do it for the money. Of course, you, you take the money. But uh, I think they're not made. Uh, actually, I believe there's nobody out there who does it just for the money because it's too much work and the, hard, uh, it's a, the life is too hard just to do it for the money. You have to really love this sport. And Tour de France, I always say it's like the first week. It's like, yeah, that's the biggest race and the greatest race, and you're just excited. Second week, you get tired and you think, oh my God, I never want to come back here. And as soon as you, in the third week, it gets worse. And then as soon as you get over the last climb, the real last climb, the only thing that's <clears throat> that remains in your head is like, I want to be back here next year. Whatever happens, Tour de France is where you want to go. And yeah, but there are many, many other things out there. It's like, we have such a nice company with, in, in the team and it's like so much fun in the bus and just being at breakfast and always. So it's good time to hang around with the boys. And those times are even more rewarding when your team is winning. Uh, winning races, it's like, uh, you know, it, it starts when you, when you hear it on the radio or you pass the line and you, like me, you watch uh, this big screen at the finish and you see probably Mark crosses the line first or somebody else from our team. And then you find a guy who won or all, the, your, all your teammates. From that point on, it's just, you, you enjoy it and that keeps going until dinner and then when everybody's together with the, all the stuff and everybody who works for the team and then you have a glass of wine and you go happy to bed that's that's a really nice moment don't forget you can keep up to date with all the action during the final week of the tour de france on british eurosport Fortnite.